In this video, I will explain the difference between a Ponzi scheme and a multi-level marketing scheme, usually called MLM. In a Ponzi scheme, there is no product or service. It's literally John telling Mark he can give him return on his money, usually an unrealistic number. Mark gives money to John and John pays Mark in return at the agreed time, but with his own money. Mark is so happy with his return, he tells Stuart how great the investment is, so Stuart invests as well. John takes money from Stuart and repays the whole principal to Mark. Mark and Stuart bring in more people, and more people bring in even more people, and the scheme continues. The whole point to a Ponzi scheme is to have new investors keep coming in. As long as new people keep coming in, that money serves to redeem earlier investors and the scheme keeps going. Since John doesn't need to pay the investors immediately, he keeps siphoning off investor money to himself. Sometimes these schemes take a while to get uncovered, because if new investors keep getting in, early investors keep getting paid. What makes a Ponzi scheme fall apart is when they run out of people to come in or if an external event happens like a market crash or any other outside situation and people unexpectedly want to withdraw. Since a Ponzi scheme mastermind is just taking money from the pile, there is always money missing. With too many requests for withdrawal, the scheme falls apart. Contrary to most inflated news out there, MLMs are not illegal, they are perfectly legal, a perfectly legit way to growing a business. In an MLM, sometimes called pyramid scheme, there is a product or service. That's the main difference between an MLM and a Ponzi scheme. It is called MLM because there are different levels of marketing. To illustrate this, let's look at an example. John just got in business for himself today. He sells energy drinks. Since he doesn't yet have consumers and he doesn't have much capital for overhead, he goes to his family and friends directly and sells them the drink. They buy it and most likely, since it is a drink, they will be repeat business. But he still has a problem. Who are John's next customers? So he proposes his family and friends to also join the business by also selling the drink to their friends. They get paid, he gets a cut from their sales. In the third and next levels, the same thing happens again. They propose to their friends to sell to their friends as well, and they keep a cut. John, as the head of the pyramid, gets a cut from everyone. As long as the pyramid keeps growing, every level keeps getting paid. It's a drink. So what's the problem? The problem with MLMs is that there aren't enough people in the world to keep growing the scheme forever. At some point, the structure stalls and some people will leave as they're not getting much money from this business, as they run out of friends to talk to and the whole pyramid starts falling apart. In an MLM is more of a recruiting game and motivating people to stay by selling a dream to become wealthy, if they can only bring in more people. That is what's keeping people from achieving their financial goals. Notice how this changed from selling a dream to achieving financial freedom. This is where some MLMs got into trouble and they brought in bad publicity to the whole industry. The problem with some MLMs and why they brought in so much bad publicity and so much heat is the selling the dream part. The expectations versus reality with most people at the bottom having little to nothing to show for it. There's nothing wrong with the structure where you are getting a cut from your sales representatives. Quite the contrary, it is a good thing you gain scale and the day has 24 hours so you have a way of growing your business. To give you a perspective, insurance companies and successful legal firms and many other industries, they use an MLM structure. This is why you see the largest insurance companies and legal firms with so many people there. Their growth is dependent on an even larger sales force that brings in more people. 
Nothing wrong with the services. Insurance companies pay the claims and legal firms do the legal work. It's just a way of growing the business where agents and legal attorneys use their own connections to keep growing the business. So in summary, Ponzi schemes, no product or service. New investor money is used to pay earlier investors money. The Ponzi mastermind siphons off the money and as long as new investors keep coming in and there are no anticipated withdrawals, the scheme keeps going. MLMs, it's dependent on constant recruiting to keep the structure going. Levels on top get a cut from levels below. As long as people stay and new ones keep coming in, the business keeps growing.